Hey guys, this is Fei Wu from Face World Media. Thank you for having me right here in front of my new house. Look at this gorgeous view. This is the first time for me to record a video outdoor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Riverside FM as a wonderful recording tool. I'm also going to tell you the difference between Riverside and Zoom. Why it's important to consider a tool such as this in addition to Zoom, especially if you are a content creator, whether you're a podcaster or a live streamer. Coming up. Right now, we're looking at Riverside.fm, a new way to record your remote podcast with 4K video and wave audio. So this is rather new and Riverside reached out to me to sponsor this video and I'm here to give you a very honest review on what I think of Riverside compared to especially an app such as Zoom for your recording and for your live streaming purposes. But also as part of this video, don't go anywhere. I want to show you behind the scenes my first time experimenting with Riverside and what the dashboard looks like and also last but not least, the quality of their video and audio. And there is a secret really juicy detail hidden by the time you get to the dashboard, which is something that Zoom does not possess and gives you another reason to consider Riverside or to experiment with that with a free trial. So at the very top, as I mentioned, you can record your remote podcast with 4K video. That is huge because as of right now, Zoom gives you a standard 1080p HD uh, video, and that has a lot to do with the quality of your webcam as well. So as you can see, uh, Riverside has been trusted by some of the biggest podcasters out there. Riverside allows you to let listeners call in with their questions so you can engage with them very easily. Now, this feature, let's just say, could be very simple with Zoom um, as well, but keep in mind, Riverside is designed for remote recording. Your audio and video are progressively uploaded to the cloud as you're recording the conversation. So you never will risk downloading to your local drive and then have to worry about the whole thing being gone. Last but not least on this page, you can stream your podcast live to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. At the moment, I have a feeling they will expand this to other networks as well. However, right now, Riverside does not allow you to simultaneously or multi-stream to these platforms, unlike an app or a platform such as Restream will let you do that. Here is the pricing information. Looking at monthly versus yearly, the price is fairly standard considering things that I have used in the past, including Restream and Zoom, or even things such as Zencaster. My advice to you is to try it out for free. I would also recommend that you run a few tests, maybe one with your close friend and one as a real recording with a guest. So to sign up for the trial, you do not need a credit card. The limitation with a free trial is that you can record and live stream your podcast for 30 minutes or less for free. Since I'm already logged in, let's take a look at the dashboard. Click on the menu button and you'll have dashboard support upload blog. Now we have arrived at the dashboard section. And as you can see, I have a first recording available right here. So to get to the recording I had, with Abel, all I have to do is click on view recordings. As you can see here, I have two groups of information. The first one is HD. This is called local separate tracks. These are the raw studio quality, locally recorded solo tracks for the host and every guest. This is recommended for you to use for podcasts and YouTube shows. Now, here is a second tab right here. I'm going to click on that. And this is the composed internet recordings. These are the one file with all your tracks combined, ready for YouTube and Spotify. Now you'll notice one thing that is universal for both tracks is that you have the date, status, duration, of course, and then here you have the resolution. So for the internet recording is 1280 by 720, not bad. And here you have your audio download and you have your video download. I'm going to show you in a second. Now coming back to the local separate tracks, you have everything in HD. Also, what I like about this is if say I recorded two separate videos during the same conversation, you're going to see that the timestamps right here and I had two separate recordings with Abo that I'm able to identify right here. Now, here's the thing that really jumped out at me from Riverside is the ability to download full HD video for each and every single guest, of course, and the host as well. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Next, I want to show you what the videos look like. Now, you can see that it just finished downloading the Faye video as well as the Abo video, and both are in MP4 format. 
you can see that there is a big size difference between us two. Let me explain real quick. So my video had the size of 317 megabytes because I was using my HD 1080p camera. By the way, that's a Logitech camera. Whereas Abel was using his built-in, I believe the MacBook Pro, which is FaceTime camera. And that is a 720p HD camera. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference. And what I like about this option is say, if you are recording this with someone who does have a lower video quality or even higher video quality, I'm not jeopardizing my video quality to match up with Avos. So as Avo explained at the beginning of our call, his video quality was not great. His internet was probably a little spotty. On top of that, he did not have good lighting in his room. Now we have a separate video to talk about how you can look your best and to ensure that you either leverage natural light the right way, or you get yourself a lighting kit that doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Now for me to grab the video with both of us in it, all I have to do is come back to compose internet recording and click on video download. So from here, you can see the video playing directly and you may be familiar with this if you have been using Zoom for recording and live streaming purposes. As you can see, there is a split screen as expected, me on the left and Abo on the right. So I'm downloading the video just to see what it looks like. So the MP4 is showing me that this video has 134 megabytes. Riverside really stands out from the crowd and especially compared to a software such as Zoom is the progressive recording and uploading. As I was recording this conversation with Abo, I noticed that this section and these files were already created and you can see that it was actively uploading to cloud. Now here are some other features that you might pay attention to, or you might find interesting also on the dashboard is you do have the Dropbox sync for me that this is important because I do use Dropbox with my producer as a podcaster. I think many of you do as well. And here you can choose the max solution and ideal frame rate for local video tracks. And here you have the option of the standard 1080p, but you could also bring it up to 2160p, which I believe it's a 4k version. And down here, you can choose the ideal frame rate you want to record in as well. And here are your options. Uh, typically, as you're checking it out for the first time, it is very safe. And I would say recommend it for you to leave these recordings as is, unless your producer or someone urges you to change it or to improve it. So here's the host link. Now that is a slightly different than the guest link. Anybody can join your podcast with this link. Let's see what else. So invite guests. So I just shared the link you mentioned. We can have up to eight people. Um, great. We can share screen. I just shared Spotify <laughs> and oh, I see. So now there's like a third window that comes in. I'm going to click on settings real quick, just to kind of get familiar with, oh, live stream. That was my next question. Um, so first let me take a look at audio video, separate track. So, um, great. All right, so I was looking at live streaming right here. Currently, Riverside allows you to stream to individual platforms. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do because I have so much new content being produced and released and I cannot wait to see you again in the near future.